What up, everyone? I want to do a quick review of my Black Widow motorcycle carrier that I've been using for quite a number of years now. Uh, so, as I mentioned, this is the Black Widow brand uh, single motorcycle carrier, the aluminum version. There are multiple versions that you can get from discountramps.com, and I'll provide a link in the description to this one as well as the general listing of them all. This particular one uh, carries one bike, um, does not have a wheel stop other than just a larger hole here. Uh, and it's rated for about 400 pounds. Um, I chose to buy it with the standard length ramp. It did also come optionally with a longer ramp, um, but given the width of my truck, uh, this was the right size so I could actually fit it inside um, the passenger compartment when I'm out on the trail. When I first bought this ramp, I was a little worried about quality and durability because it's fairly inexpensive. Uh, right now you can get it for $180. Uh, I bought it back in 2019 for $140. So for that price, um, I was a little bit concerned about putting a $10,000 motorcycle on <laughs> the back of my truck like this. The welds themselves, and you'll have to pardon the lighting and the wind noise here, I am outside. The welds themselves are actually pretty decent, I thought. They're not perfect, but they've held up fine. The main construction where the bike goes on is essentially on steel. So this is steel, this is aluminum, and it attaches via kind of this steel bolt contraption here. And uh, these have now budged since 2019. Every single video on my channel is a result of this ramp. Um, I've carried the bike on the back for thousands and thousands of miles. Uh, in fact, I've had this before I even started the channel and it has not let me down. It is pretty stable uh, when you're moving on a smooth highway. When you get off-road, this does tend to... You can kind of see how much it moves, right? This is just my hand. When you have a 300-pound motorcycle on here, you will see the bike move side to side. There is this mechanism here that's meant to be an anti-tilt mechanism. These three screws, and there's one fourth one on the bottom there. Uh, in my experience, it doesn't do that much, but it's not terrible, and I have not had any issues with the bike coming out. Um, now, the way I strap it in, I'll show you in a minute here. I do kind of take precaution and secure the wheels to the carrier as well, just to make sure it doesn't pop out. But again, I haven't had any, any major concerns. Now, there are a couple of things, logistically speaking, that I want to point out, uh, which I'll talk about after I load the bike. So let me do that now and you guys will kind of see the process. So as you can see, the bike is loaded. It only takes a few minutes. Uh, of course, I've done this uh, many, many times, so it's not really uh, anything difficult anymore. First few times, it was a little unnerving just because you have a bike, you're bouncing off the ground and everything, but there is technique to it for sure. So I wanna point out a couple of things. So first of all, I have a hard top, and as a result, what I do is I put my little towel here uh, on the handlebar. I lean the bike over against the window. I put, the inside strap on first, get that tight. Then I put my uh, fork uh, compression guard here and I attach the outside strap. I pull the bike down with my hand as you saw uh, and then cinch down this strap, which actually puts the bike in a fairly upright position, right? So for me, the geometry of how my truck is set up worked out perfectly. If you don't have a hard top, then you gotta think about what is this bike going to be leaning against while you're putting the straps on, right? Or who's holding it for you? Uh, you can put it up against a tailgate, maybe with a thick like bathroom towel or something so you don't scratch up your paint, but make sure that there is no hard metal or anything, obviously that's going to dent your tailgate, right? I do use additional straps on the wheels, as you can see. These are just little 
uh, straps here. You can kind of put in through whatever spokes you want. Um, I have some wheel weights here, so I just went into this spoke, but it could have been this one, right? Uh, and these just kind of prevent the bike from accidentally rolling out of this thing. I don't think it would happen, but uh, I have seen my bikes move around a lot when I'm hitting potholes on dirt roads, right? So this just makes me sleep a little better at night, um, knowing that the bike is, you know, secure to the carrier at multiple points. I think if you cinch it down enough with the straps, and if you do have, you know, a seal saver type thing, it probably won't go anywhere. But again, I'm one of those guys that prefers a little bit of extra safety um, rather than seeing my bike dragged on the highway behind the truck or just left over for a semi to hit, right? So once the bike is loaded, uh, it's basically good to go. When you get to the destination, you kind of reverse the steps, put the ramp in the front and roll the bike off. Uh, it is a little bit tricky sometimes to get the bike off of this, if you have, especially if you have your bike or if it fits into these wheel holes perfectly, right? So what I do is, I actually put my hip uh, into the foot peg like this as I'm rolling the bike down, which gives me an extra point of leverage to get it off the carrier. But like I said, I've been using this for many years now and I haven't had any problems with it. It works pretty well. Uh, I'm happy. Again, the price was a steal and it saved me from buying a trailer uh, up until actually this week. So the reason I'm doing this review is I did buy a trailer. So I'll be doing a video on that soon, uh, specifically some of the modifications and updates and upgrades I want to do. But otherwise, this is definitely a great backup or a primary carrying source for a dirt bike or like I said, even a bigger bike. So take a look at Discount Ramps. I'm not sponsored, I'm not affiliated. I'm just a happy customer. So you're saving a lot of money, but I don't think you're sacrificing any uh, major quality. I'm curious if any of you are running this uh, specific carrier or any of the Black Widow carriers. If you are and you like it or you don't like it, leave me a comment. So hopefully this was helpful for anyone in the market for a carrier like this. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thank you for watching.